it's kind of crazy to think that the idea that things were on arcades. I go to arcades and it's just where MILFs hang out with their kids. That's the nastiest thing I'm going to say today. <laughs> Seems like the public perception in the game changed in such a short amount of time. I don't know. You know what? I've been on the... I've been on Twitter, stupidly. And I've been looking at that and I saw that too. People were complaining about how it's like... Like it's all offense. There's no defense. It lets green rankers get to Tekken God. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? People predicted this. They'll be like, people hate Tekken 7 now. But when they see Tekken 8, we're gonna love Tekken 7. I feel like it's people just like skip, like the honeymoon phase is done. There's a number of reasons for it. I'm sorry, you triggered a rat. You triggered my rat card. There's a lot of reasons for it. One is because, well, uh, you know, hate and anger and outrage sell stuff. I'm not saying that their views on Tekken 8 are unfounded, but I'm also saying that there is, you, you know, there's no, there's a quote unquote conflict of interest for some people with how they present their ideas as well as what ideas they choose to espouse. Money, because of clout or whatever, whatever dumb, dumb shit. Two. A lot of the old guard is not doing super well in Tekken. Like, sure, they will eventually when they adapt or they choose to adapt. But, like, a lot of them are also not doing super well <laughs> in like, Tekken. In Tekken 8. And, like, shit. So they complain. And it's also not to see, not you know, but they have a reason behind because that's also their fucking livelihood. It's a very bad. So they, what else are they going to do? They got to get mad. I'd also be mad if, like, my job, like, like, let's say I'm a programmer and then suddenly they're like, we need you to program while punching a dude in the face. And I'm like, I'm not very good at punching, like, you know, I'm not good at punching a dude in the face. Or better yet, if I were a chess player doing chess and the International Chess Association was like, it is time for chess boxing. Like, oh, fuck, who am I fighting? Manny Pacquiao. We've had him time travel from the early 2000s to kick your ass. So I need to beat him before we get to the boxing. That's right, or he'll beat you into shit. I get it. But also, that's... It's shitty to say. It's super shitty to say. But that is the risk when you like tie yourself to a game, right? The patch might fuck you up. And I get why that's the reaction to it. If like, I'm not saying all pros are like in that position, but a lot of it, but some of them are. I've seen a few say like, I'm going back to MK10 or MK1. And I'm like, really? Oof. Two. <laughs> this is the first Tekken. Uh, this is the first Tekken to experience two, count them, two nucky things. One. Uh, Tekken 7 was released like eight years ago. Streaming was big eight years ago. It was a thing, but not nowhere near as like... It can't be worse than MK1. I don't think it's worse than MK1, sorry. But like some people are just saying that shit. Uh, or at least eight years ago where streaming wasn't a big thing. Now it is. Like it's much it's much more common to talk about streamers. They're everywhere now. We're doing New Year shit and screwing up a dance. And like VTubers are a thing. Anime girls are a thing. And that's great. But also it exposes tech into a lot and like a much larger audience, right? The the casual audience is much bigger and that's great for the game and I love it because I'm part of that casual audience as well. But also, I can get frustrated because when offense is the name of the game, it can be frustrating to watch up to 20 seconds of a fucking combo and like, I am done playing. Like, I am done playing. Can you tell me when it's my turn? And that's like, if you don't know how to defend, which is like a skill, like you, you, that's like boxing. If you put anybody into the ring, they can punch. Anybody can throw a punch. Boxers can punch, punch super well, but like not everyone, like most people don't know how to defend. And that's true in fighting games as well. And then you get a few games of that. You get, you know, you get into rank, which really gets your endorphins up and makes you like feel good about ranking up. And then you get punched in the head a lot by like a Paul or a, a, a Law who's like low slide. I can't fucking see coming. What are you going to do? You rant a nine. And there's a lot more people that don't have the quote unquote competitive mindset. And that's true. Like when, you know, you get mad, 
event. And, you know, a lot of people suddenly, you know, with the internet, there's more people who agree with you. And now public perception is, you find more and more people. You snowball because more and more people can find your message. And there it is. And two, the more sensible one that doesn't have my personal bias on it is that Tekken 8 is the first Tekken that did not start in arcades. Tekken at the arcades like had a year to like get patches and get balanced before it made it to consoles, which means very few people actually suffered the balancing phase. Or as, you know, Blizzard likes to call it launch or open beta. And that's fine. You know, but people don't understand that. Or, you know, be kind. even 7, right? It's kind of crazy to think that the idea that things were on arcades. I go to arcades and it's just where MILFs hang out with their kids. That's the nastiest thing I'm going to say today. <laughs> but no, that's true though. Like it's, it's, it's in arcades and we don't get to suffer. I don't. I didn't get to like go. I I I went to. I played a little bit of Tekken at the arcade, and it was like it's Leroy all the time, baby. And like, oh, that's that's suffering. But I also like understand the patching process, and a lot of people don't understand that. And they, they see something's in balance, or someone they trust. More importantly, someone they trust maybe has a slip of the tongue, maybe says. This dude's broken, and I don't know how he's in the game. And that's a common phrase, right? That's a normal phrase. You say that out of frustration. But I trust that dude. That dude is a YouTuber. That dude is a streamer who does this for a job. So they certainly probably know more than I do. And I trust that, and I take that to heart. And that's like a good society. That's the idea of a good society. You trust the expert. But you get to hear the expert's outbursts, too. And now we're in that position, which I guess like those are two different points to kind of jumble together. But the thing is, the expert understands that even in that frustration, that's part of the process. You play a game long enough, a live service game long enough, you know that you know, things are going to get patched, things are going to get through. Dra uh, not Dragon Ball, I guess. Destiny 2 had Mountaintop get nerfed. Destiny 2 had the slow go fast update and the go slow update where you couldn't shoot in the air anymore or you'd miss every shot. And that's fine. Like, you've been, I assume you've been playing games forever. You've been, I've been seeing it around since Gwent. I've been playing games forever too. I grew up on that shit. This is what I do. Like, even if, like, not a job, even if I wasn't streaming, like, games is what I do. Not great at it, but it's what I do. It's what I do to have fun, it's what I do to relax, it's what I do to think. And I understand what patches mean. It's something that I used to love is not necessarily <laughs> midwinter update homecoming. Yeah, those were suffering. I don't even was the word did the word copium even exist at that time? I'm not sure. I think copium was like four years ago. I don't even know when midwinter update was that. Was midwinter the the one where they changed from three to two lanes? Either way, anyway. But yeah, that's that's the problem. Like, and it's also fine from a from a consumer standpoint. To like, why isn't the game balanced? Why am why did I not get a product that works as expected, or at least as I am expecting? One marketing, two. That's just the the process of balancing a game, right? Because a game. Um. Like a competitive game, especially, you can't test for everything. The best mechanics are not necessarily the best drivers, and the best drivers are not necessarily the best mechanics. QA can only go so far. Even PTBs can only go so far. But that will lead to frustration. And that's why. And I think those are the reasons why the public view in Tekken has shifted dramatically. It's also true of most games, right? I think Destiny's got goes through that cycle every few months. Uh, MK1, I thought it looked fucking cool. You thought it would look fucking cool. And then Honeymoon Phase ended. Street Fighter 6. Okay, public opinion in that is also starting to turn. 
some game card games have a rotation. Yeah, so they can like, you know, fix mistakes like mind over matter. Or whatever fucking night or questing beast in magic that thing was nutty why does it have paragraphs for powers and like this dude has like tap to ping for one the other dude is like i am invulnerable like excuse me and why is that followed by a goddamn paragraph so yeah i feel like it was midway through another rant there but like yeah, I gotta, I gotta keep my blood pressure low. <laughs> no, it's fine. And like, how do I put this? That's just, that's just live service cycles, I guess. No, that's what I was gonna say. FF six, uh, SF six. Um, people are now starting to complain about Drive Rush. I fucking love Drive Rush. I love the idea of it. It's like an offensive tool, and people are like, "Well, it's now just all offense to." To cater to the viewer well yeah that's where they get their marketing now the game is changing through capitalism and that's you know right? drive rush is like this thing where you spend a bit of your meter to go forward to like do a really quick dash after a parry or like to it's a combo extender i believe so basically more offense like the heat gauge in tekken 8 but like not once around <laughs> it doesn't put you into a state but it does give you like advantage and now go face basically yeah go face is the name of the fighting game and now there's like i saw this this fed and i'm sure it's gonna go viral because like people are like back when defense used to matter back when defense was about skill and like they have clips of like frankly impressive fucking defense from marvel versus capcom i think mvc Ooh, free something. I forget they again, or even MVC I, I think. And I remember the defense Goichi had on in Dragon Ball Fighters. That was fucking beautiful. That was like, how do you break this man? You can give him perfect block strings all day, and he'll just be like, I've got your ass. And now it feels like an outrage cycle, doesn't it? And it's very tiring. It's like people are gonna bitch and then still play the game. Which is fine, because you bitch about things you love. I just wish it wasn't it didn't feel so like manufactured. I just wish it 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 came from a place that wanted to go to improvement rather than just anger. But it, the thing is to demand that is also unfair. Because these are just people who are playing a game. They're not like, they're not looking to the future in the company. Great, they don't have to. That's not our job. We're, a company's profit is not my problem. Why do they brag when a movie makes money? Who gives a shit? Your shareholders give a shit. I don't. I'm here. I, I enjoy the movie or don't. I enjoy the game or don't. So it, it's so there. It's unfair to demand them to be like, you should complain and try to make reasonable change no he's a consumer he's buying shit he's trying to enjoy what little time he has free from fucking work and getting buried by god knows what and he's one of the blessed ones who get to do that and you don't have to wonder i wonder if they're gonna cut off my head today like that's not his problem I think I'm sure there's a guy in that unfortunate situation who also plays Tekken. So it's weird. Like that's my rat. Like there's manufactured outrage. I wish it were going in a more positive direction or hoping for a more positive outcome of it. But also I understand why that can't be. I understand why that absolutely cannot be. And it's unfair to expect that. Sorry. Sorry. You activated my card. <laughs> I hope that's okay. I hope I, I hope I didn't just like go on for too long. I didn't even know I had that in me. I hope I made sense more importantly. Because like usually when I have a rant, I have it like... I kind of have an idea of where I want to go with it. That one was just like... Because I fucking love Tekken. I really do. I fucking love Tekken 8. 
Like any other issues I have aside from it is like it's fine. Thank you. I hope it was. Is it, I love it. It's like the, the first game, first fighting game I've ever really tried to be good at. I had a Paul that I was super excited to. Oh yeah, we have a battle pass. That's fucking shit too. <laughs> we have. I, before I go, I'm about to go. By the way, when I when I get some rest, I have some more more work to do today. <laughs>